For our next example of putting it all together, we want to look back at our friend the two-way table. So remember, these are also known as contingency tables. This particular one shows the new active duty military recruits in 2018 by military service and race ethnicity. And of course, yes, these are real data. All right, so you're going to select three active duty military personnel at random with replacement. Ah, there it is again. So we have to have with replacement for all three portions of this because otherwise we would be in a different section of the courts, right? We need that with replacement in order to be independent so that we can use the multiplication rule and or rule number five for the at least one rule. So that's required. So it has to be there somewhere. Or if it's not there, there's a way around it, but we will not deal with that until much later in the course. All right, we're gonna select three active duty military personnel. What's the probability that all of them are recruited by the Marines? All right, all is and hiding in disguise. So when you think about all, what does that mean? That means the first one is going to be, I'm just gonna use M for Marine. And the second one will be M for Marine. And the third one will be M for Marine. So you're going to have all three of them, right, be Marines. So according to the multiplication rule, these are independent because they're with replacement. So we'll just multiply the probability of Marine times the probability of Marine times the probability of Marine. Simple as that. In other words, you're taking the probability of Marine to the third power because it's there's three of them. Actually, let me make that orange so you can see here because that's your N, right? It's to the third power. All right, so now what's the probability of Marine? The probability of Marine is 31310, so 31,310 divided by 163,582. So we want, and I'm just going to write it in the cubed form just because it's easier. So 31,310 divided by 163,582 and we cube it. All right, so let me grab decimals. I've got so many in here that I'll have to scroll down. All right, so it just occurred to me, I could have shown this in projector mode. It makes the, the font a little bit larger, I apologize. All right, so 31,310 divided by 163,852, and we want to raise that to the third power. And there you have it, right? 0 0.006977, which would actually round to 0 0.0070 if we were going with uh, four decimal places. So I think I'll actually do five. So this is 0 0.00698. All right, well, now you select five active military, active duty military recruits five of them, so there's your N. I want the probability that none of them were black. Mm. Okay, these are the trickier ones um, yeah, for multiplication rule because it involves a negative voice. So let me just figure this out. So note, let's figure this out ahead of time. The probability of black was 24,000, oh, excuse me, 28,401 divided by 163,582. So the probability that not black would be one minus that. Now I know you're thinking, oh no, that'd be really difficult. Not really. What you're saying is there were 163,800 or 582, I keep seeing that number wrong, recruits. If I take out the 28,401 that were black, Gotta love the military, they, they know about that single person, right? So 401, very precise. That leaves us 135,181. So I could write that right here. 135,181. Now, if I'm interested in a decimal, of course, I could find that as well. Right? Now, that is not our answer. That's, that's not what they're talking about because we're talking about five recruits. This is for one recruit. We kind of figure this out ahead of time. Okay. Now we have to go do the problem they were asking, which is for five recruits. So for five recruits, 
what's the probability that none are black? I'm just going to use B here because I'm going to run out of space otherwise. So that would be the probability that the first one is not black times the probability that the second one was not black. And it would just keep going and going. Third one, fourth one. I'm worried about running out of space. So the fifth one is not black. Well, these are all the same probabilities. So what you're really saying is take the probability of not being black and out of these recruits and raise it to the fifth power, right? Because there's five recruits. None of them should be black. So that means I want to take, okay, the probability of not black was what I just figured out up here. It's 130, or, yeah, 135,181 over 163,582. And I raise that to the fifth power. And again, don't get worried about brackets. I just do that sometimes. It's, it's parentheses. It's just another way to write parentheses. So I'll do this one with the calculator just to spice things up. So 135,181 divided by 163,582, close parentheses, I want to raise it, so caret button to the fifth, enter. And I get 0 0.3854. Actually, I'm going to go 38539. I like the look of that number. So 38.539%. All right, now we're going to select seven active duty military personnel. What, um, with wear placement, of course, what is the probability that at least one, there it is, there's that phrase. So that means we're using rule number five. It sticks out like a sore thumb. All right, so let's see here. The probability of at least one is... Let's see, AIAN stands for American Indian Alaskan Native. So at least one AIAN. That would be one minus the probability of not being AIAN to the seventh power, because N is seven on this particular one. And yet again, we have to go figure out some stuff on the side. So let's figure out for one, and these are recruits. So one recruit. What's the probability of AIAN? That would be 1,280 out of 163,582. All right, so what's the probability of not being AIAN? That would be all the other non-American Indian Alaska Native. So if I took 163,000, let me bring this over here so you can see it. 163,582. And I subtract away the 1,280 American Indi Indian Native um, Alaskan recruits. I get 162,302. Right? Because it's 1 minus that. I have this in reverse order. Let me let me rewrite this one second. There, that's a little better. So what you're taking is one minus the probability of AIN, which means you take 163,582, subtract away the 1,280, and you're left with 162,302 divided by 163,582. That's the number you're going to put in right there. Right? Okay, so let's go do that. So this is one minus... I don't know. These ones start off as the most difficult, but they follow a particular pattern. I think actually letter B you got to watch out for when they do none. You have to be careful because that also involves a complement rule. Just a little side note to you. All right. So one minus, and this would be 162,302 over 163,582. And we're going to raise it to the seventh power and take it away from one. And of course, we can do this all in one step in either Desmos or our calculators. You can type 1 minus parentheses 162302 divide 163582, close your parentheses, 
use the caret button to raise it to the seventh power. And there you have it, 0 0.0535. And in this mixed problem, again, I'll say it one more time, we're seeing the two trickiest problems. You have to watch out for problems that are none, because none is a little bit tricky. It means that you have to use the complement rule and raise it to the power. And it's actually part of this. That's what you're finding right here. You're finding the probability of none and then subtracting it from one. So at least one and none kind of go together, and they're the most difficult problems we have. But of course, they're both using the multiplication rule, right, in disguise right there with the fifth power and the seventh power. So you just have to break it down to basics, figure out what they're being at, what you're being asked, and maybe use the complement rule right, right here, and then substitute it in to find what you were looking for.